I think it's always a good thing when Mother Nature cooperates in the right direction for a decent weekend. Now, granted, Saturday was kind of chilly. Yesterday, we had a little more in terms of cloud cover than we would like. But it's all right. I guarantee most of you had a smile on your face, right? And the good news is we're going to continue to see some decent weather going into today. Temperatures on the warmer side as we're going to flirt with the 60 degree point. Now, I know you guys well enough by now. Your eyes are automatically drawn to this system that's out to our north and west. And it looks ominous, right? A lot of snow out there, a lot of wintry mix over the Ohio Valley up through Chicago and whatnot. I was watching a football game for... Uh, uh, Green Bay Packers last night, it was snowing. That very same system, believe it or not, is going to find itself right here in our backyards by about this time tomorrow morning. It's going to bring us rain and a wintry mix and some snow. Yeah, we're going to get there in just a second, I promise you. But let's focus on the here and the now. Let's live in the moment. I want to wish all the veterans out there throughout our viewing area a very happy veterans day thank you so much for what you have done for our country and what you continue to do to keep us safe anywho your big picture for today partly sunny skies winds out the southwest bringing those temperatures up as we get you out the door you're going to notice partly cloudy skies at times we'll go back and forth between clouds and sun, not really knocking down any doors, but at least our temperatures are going to moderate over what we've seen over the past couple days. A north factor today of a 7, and our sun is now going down at 448. Our days continue to get shorter and shorter. Ugh. Nothing you can do about it, though. 42 in Atlantic City, 42 for Philadelphia, 44 for the Big Apple, and 42 in New Haven. So we are pretty much consistent across the board. 36 for Cranberry, our TV station here. Titus just did the reading for me. 43 degrees. Thank you for updating that for me, uh, Titus. 39 in Netcong, 38 for High Bridge. And I think by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, these temperatures are going to be very close. And then we are going to really drop things down as that Arctic cold front attacks us from the north and west. Attacks. That seems crazy and ominous, right? That's all right. We'll get through it. 59 today. Some of you will get down to or up to 60 degrees, especially through central Jersey. Sun and clouds are mixed together, and it is going to be warm for our vets. I got to tell you, the good news here is if you are living in an area that's going to see more sunshine, it's going to be heating the ground. And it's not going to be as easy to accumulate snow on roadways come tomorrow morning than if we were in the dead of the winter and our ground was frozen. So I'm expecting any minor accumulations to be on grassy surfaces and on porches and decks and whatnot. Still, you got to be careful because it is going to reduce visibility up to about the lunch hour. Temperatures will get to about 42 degrees. All right, let's break this down for you. By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, we'll set our clock at 5 a.m., you got this chilly rain moving in. Most of us are seeing temperatures starting off in the upper 30s or lower 40s. And then that Arctic cold front is going to be knocking on our doorstep, coming across the Delaware River into northwest Jersey first. Now, got to be upfront and transparent here. The best chance of one to three inches of snow, probably uh, over this way. Netcong, High Bridge, the higher elevations. I think there's going to be some minor accumulating snow probably all the way down to the coast in some circumstances. And uh, I think the big story behind this is the big cold coming our way. And we're talking much colder weather than what we saw even on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. All right, We're going to see high temperatures in the 30s. But anyway, this is going to continue to push down to the southeast and for several hours four or five hours, we could have some snow in the air. And then it starts to back out of here by early Tuesday afternoon. And then we see the sunshine come back before the day all wraps up. So in general, I think most of our viewing area is somewhere near an inch or just under an inch. These little numbers here are our forecast model guidance and what they are thinking. So I agree with this idea of under an inch for Flemington and New York City and Freehold and Howell. One to three inches will be for the higher elevations, the mountainous areas of North Jersey, and then up over Pennsylvania and New York State. Not a major storm, but something we need to watch. And I think through the afternoon, by tonight, 
and obviously by tomorrow morning as it's happening, we'll have a very good idea. So I want you to stay connected on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can follow me. It's at Nor'easter Nick. We'll have you one step ahead of the storm and updated as it's happening. Your seven-day forecast, look at that 34 for a high on Wednesday. Under sunny skies, ineffective sunshine is blustery. It's going to feel like we're in the 20s. And then temperatures kind of go back and forth, still well below average.